Hello friends, welcome to Embedded World. I am Ken Briota, I'm the Senior Technology Editor with Embedded Computing Design. And we are here at Eurotech's booth who's just won a Best in Show award from Embedded Computing Design. My guest is Marco Kerr of, uh, of Eurotech. He's the CTO, is that right? CTO, that's Look at that. right. He knows all the stuff. And today we're going to talk a little bit about AI at the edge. Marco, why don't you show us what we got going on? Excellent. Uh, so, pleasure to meet you, Marco Carrer from uh, Eurotech. So, well, we're very pleased to have received the award. Thank you so much. So, this is the product that won the award. It's the Relia Core 4411, right? It looks like a simple box, but it's actually the perfect box for the edge AI consolidation. So, actually put in the mix of an AI workload with an IoT workload together into a secure box. So it comes with a powerful hardware, GPU accelerated uh, for uh, AI type of workload in a secure operating system certified by Canonical. So it gives you long-term support into it on a secure package that is certified by the state-of-the-art cybersecurity uh, standard, which is the IEC 62443-4-2. So you can actually deploy this box into your factory floor, into your plan with trust and confidence that you're not actually breaking the security of the solutions. In here at Embedded World, we also thought to actually see what this device can do, right? And we put it in the context of a demo, right? The demo actually puts together the IoT part, so all the connectivity, and the AI part. It's an optical inspection line demo, right? So we have a camera. The camera is actually looking at the quality of PCBs that are actually going uh, through, through the machine. It's actually detecting the component and actually see if the the component was precisely placed and if the quality of the PCB is good. So now we actually try to put a defect one into the machine. The conveyor belt it will actually put it under the camera. The camera will collect the picture. It will actually detect that there is a missing component. It will turn the red light and instruct the robot to actually put this into the scrap piece, right, into my yield rate. All driven by a single box, right, not just the edge part, the workload of the eye. Uh, but also the workload, the IoT. So the same data is actually sent uh, through AWS and I can actually build a simple, nice dashboard that give me my yield rate and my productivity line, right? So that's kind of like a quick introduction of how all the pieces are put together. So it seems very clear that latency is quite low. It recognized it and moved it fast. Talk to me a little bit about uh, power. It, what, kind of, what kind of draw do we, are, do we need? Are we able to operate this is it necessary to be hardwired? What are we talking yeah, about? Exactly. So this is a box that is running on a 35 watt CPU with a 45 watts uh, GPU, putting it all together. Yep. So it's it's still a pretty good fit for the industrial production line, yeah. right? The difference of all this is that the pre-certification stack, right? We mentioned the operating system, we mentioned the NVIDIA GPU, we also show the workload of what it can do. The beauty of this is how easy it is to build it, right? So the box comes with a visual programming environment that through a low code, no code, you actually build all your AI pipeline by just connecting uh, building blocks, right? So you have a frame grabber pipeline that actually grab the pieces from the camera and the processing pipeline that takes the camera that are processed, pass them through the AI workload by NVIDIA, the NVIDIA Triton inference engine. Yep. And the output of that is the one that through a simple Point and click interface controls both the robot as well the, the cloud interfaces. Um, so it's really a ready to use AI box, yeah, right? Exactly. So you don't have to put all the pieces together, right? It gives you the security and it gives you the simplicity of building your AI applications. So we're doing processing at the edge, we're doing uh, sight vision uh, recognition. Um, what about, where does the data set live? Uh, that, that the AI is being trained on and learning as it goes. Yeah, perfect. So, as, as you know, in all the edge AI applications, you have multiple layers, of course. right? Right. So, in this specific case, the frame grabber is actually collecting the application and is putting it into a high-speed RAM disk, right? The Triton inference engine will actually pull it from RAM and do the edge processing. Yeah. All that is because of the security, data at rest will be encrypted. Actually, the model has distributed for the cloud in encrypted form, and they are decrypted only at runtime, right? To actually yeah. keep all the security of the model yeah. at the highest possible level, right? Amazing. And then, at the output of this whole processing, the data, the, the output of that, right, so the transfer will be sent into the cloud as just in terms of yield rate information, yeah. right? 
the picture of the defected part can also be sent into the cloud for actually do additional tuning of your algorithms, improving yeah. your efficiency and so on and so forth. And in terms of longevity, over the air updates and things like that? Absolutely, right. As we mentioned, the 62443 mandates, right, yeah. the life cycle management of the whole box, in both in terms of security, but also in terms of applications evolution, right? You start with an MVP, you update your applications, both in terms of configuration-based application, as well in terms of model updates application to distribute them massively across your flow. Wonderful. Marco, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Really Pleasure appreciate meeting you. you. Folks, I've been Ken Briota, Senior Technology Editor for Embedded Computing Design. We are here at Embedded World. There's going to be so much going on, so keep watching. <laughs>